Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Pele Yoyetz in his chapter about mitzvahs, and he asks a riveting question today. If a person will tell you, who doesn't know about everything we've been discussing? Greater is one hour of Torah and Maisim Tevim, good deeds in this world, Mikol Chayolam Habo, than from the entire life in the world to come. Who doesn't know what a great opportunity we have here in Olam Hazah in this world to do all the mitzvahs that we possibly can? And how, how terrible and bitter it is for a person who leaves Hashem. The Avar Mitzvah and he tramples on his mitzvahs, Mikol Roi it's the worst thing in the world. You have two paths in front of you. One is a life of mitzvahs, a life of Torah, a life of Dveikis, getting close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. One is a miserable, horrendous life of trampling and running over HaKadosh Baruch Hu's mitzvahs, getting involved in averas, doing terrible things. You need a, a rocket scientist to know the difference between these two things? Who doesn't know that? The right thing is to engage yourself in a life of mitzvahs, and get close to Hashem in all that you, every possible way. We know which is the is the right and the straight path that we should go down. So this is obvious, says the Pelayyot. So what's the chiddush? What's the novel concept that we're learning over here to try to impress upon us how valuable mitzvahs are? I know all of this already. Aval yesh lanu taina alimta. However, we have a very strong taina, very strong claim or excuse against all of this. Ki yetzer leiv ha'odam ra v'koshel kebarzel. The yetzer hara, the evil inclination that resides in the heart of a person is bad and very hard, like barzel, like metal. Af lezeis amena. And therefore, since that you have a yetzer hara, so you know that the Yetzirah is working and working and working, trying to prevent you from doing what is right. That's why we have to teach you all of this. So you'll open your eyes and you'll combat the Yetzirah and you'll do what is Taiv Be'ene Hashem. Af Amina, but even to this, I can tell you. The Kuliyama Yodei She'ein Paita Aisam Tainazu. Everybody knows that when you are going to come up, when you're going to come before HaKadosh Baruch after 120 years, and He's going to be judging all of your actions, your deeds, your thoughts, your speech, everything you were involved with. He's going to look at all your mitzvahs and see how much better they could have been. He'll look at all your avers and see how horrible they were. So everybody knows HaKadosh Baruch is not going to accept the, the excuse. Well, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I had a Yetzirah, you know, it was very hard to, to be a tzaddik. It was very hard to always do the right thing. It wasn't so simple to daven be kavana. It wasn't so simple to guard my mouth from Lashon Hara. You know, the Yetzirah tricked me. He told me, if I don't learn today, I'll still be okay. Now I haven't learned in so many days. The Yetzirah told me one morning when I was waking up, it's so early, you didn't sleep enough last night, you were busy last night, you were surfing the web till 3 o'clock in the morning doing very important things. Stay in bed, sleep a little bit. You'll dive in your bedroom. It's okay. You'll get out to shul and later tomorrow you'll go. And then that was the next day, the next day. Everybody knows that HaKadosh Baruch is not going to accept that excuse. So what are we, what are we learning over here, says the, says the Pele Yoyetz, that we didn't know before. Shekva Alma HaKadosh Baruch HaKadosh Baruch already told us. Berosi Yetzor, I created the Yetzor, Berosi Leitore Tavlin, I created the Torah as its antidote. That's the only thing that you have in this world to be able to spice up and work with your Yetzor and get it in the right direction. Shama'ur, Shabbat, the light that's in the Torah, Machzir in the Mutav, it will bring a person back to, the, to good. Torah will bring a person back to good. Torah is the only thing that can combat the Yetzirah. Everybody knows that, doesn't, don't they? Everybody knows that HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't care about our excuses, our duffel bags of excuses that we're going to bring up to Shemaim after 120 years. Why well, didn't do this? Why well, didn't do that? Why well, did this? Why well, did that? I, Hashem, what do you want? The Yetzirah was so strong. Don't we all know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not going to accept that excuse? 
Could there be a weaker excuse that a person is going to say over to HaKadosh Baruch Hu? That, what, nobody knew about a Yitzhahara? You didn't realize that's what you came to the world for? I should accept every single excuse that you have. At the end of 120 years, you're sitting in my heavenly court. All the malachim, the angels are gathered around. We're all listening to you. Plead your case. You didn't, you didn't dive in chakras because the Yitzhahara told you to stay in bed? You didn't say a brach on your food because the Yitzhahara told you it doesn't matter? You were unlawful in your business because the Yitzhahara said, no, 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 everybody's doing it. What are you worried about? You screamed and you yelled at your wife. And you screamed and you yelled at your children because the Yitzhahara told you, no, this is the kind of man that you have to be. Kodesh Baruch is going to, he's going to accept all of that? Don't we know that Hashem is not going to accept these things? Leaving off in the middle of the, of the argument that the Pelayoyitz is building up over here of why is he teaching us all of these important lessons about mitzvahs. This is something that should be simple for every Jew to understand. As Hashem, we will see more tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.